So there, there's obvious a big downside with not having a sponsor or company backing you. But the great thing about being self-propelled is that you do not even have to blink if you choose to drop your previous concept and just dive into the new iteration which you feel ha holds more promise for uh, you know what you want to achieve. So here it is, the OTV over terrain vehicle number I do not know. Uh, it's still uh, in the concept area of uh, having a control system that is not dependent on the main engines or main propulsion system. So it has such uh, like a crown on top uh, with uh, four variable pitch propeller motors. Uh, and they are small because they are only there to keep the attitude. And then I have two larger motors for creating the bulk thrust for uh, keeping the uh, machine in there. The good thing with, with this setup is that the, uh, the control motors actually uh, contribute to thrust in the desired direction of travel. Uh, unlike the previous OT OTV that actually uh, pushed the air <laughs> in the direction in which you wanted to go. So it sort of uh, cancelled out its own um, motion uh, just slightly, but still. And this can also uh, uh, self-level uh, when it's, uh, well, <laughs> even before it's flying. And that might seem like not so necessary. But the thing is, I'm so bored of hauling, hauling things around. So this is supposed to be standing on a single uh, electric powered landing gear wheel. Uh, and it can keep the balance just like a you know, one wheel Segway. And um, well, it might actually even function as a short transportation device for the pilot as well. But mainly to get it up and down like a trailer or so or just move it around. So uh, right now I'm just uh, trying to find, you know, a power setting for the uh, attitude system and yeah, it's really not blowing much wind at all once it finds its uh, balance. And as soon as you, you know, disturb it, it starts to uh, pitch those blades and move air. So <laughs> this is the first iteration, so it's, uh, it's super wonky and uh, yeah, well, it's like Frankenstein, of course, uh, at the beginning, but that's... Uh, the way I think you're supposed to do it. Uh, no need to make it like look good or anything, just to make it a, a, like a test bench for the for the uh, composition of technology that you are working with. So that's the amp draw for two motors and there will be two more, so around uh, four amps at four cell for the, uh, the attitude system at this uh, setting. I have a servo tester that uh, controls the uh, power for these four motors so I will be trying out different settings. Uh, the good thing is that uh, when it starts to pitch in one direction uh, it also of course uh, quickly will start to move in that direction since the you know main thrust is then contributing to that direction but since this uh, control column is on top it will be a sort of a safe uh, self-stabilizing system that the air will be pushing harder on the top uh, making it level out and uh, turn the opposite direction so I feel confident that this will not over pitch in the same scary manner as the uh, previous OTV did uh, which I had to control by uh, aerodynamic surfaces and uh, um, sort of perhaps limiting the uh, the uh, throw of the uh, control sticks or or so but this holds the promise to uh, to in its uh, you know genuine composition be more self-stabilizing than the previous version and also there's a place to sit on this one and the like the far forward dream of making a larger version uh, with a common common shaft between the two main rotors etc etc but it's also a concept that you could make uh, redundant with the control system you could add like four more variable pitch propellers up there like a helicopter uh, rotor radio control helicopter rotors or so so you could add several controllers uh, controlling those blades so it will be uh, have a uh, fail-safe uh, margin. So here you can see the uh, the uh, rotating to uh, linear uh, converter there for the variable, pe variable pitch propellers and uh, here I'm trying uh, standing it on one point like as it would be if you had a single landing gear wheel underneath 
and there's my uh, zeroing out my level bubble to uh, have it level once I initiate the flight controller so that it has a reference that is uh, like uh, horizontal okay <laughs> here I'm doing the leveling and I have a couple of false starts and such but uh, eventually I got it uh, to uh, to behave and it's uh, it's really an intriguing structure it's really weird to see it balancing on that uh, aluminum rod you can hear the pitch change of the propellers how it's suddenly grabbing the air and shoving it in a given direction And obviously, since the um, the attitude system is separate from the main thrust system, you could use whatever propulsion propulsion source for the main rotors. So it could be electric, but it could also be like uh, gas powered or whatever. And the uh, small wooden sticks there that form a triangle, uh, they. Uh, were necessary to keep the uh, the boom there, the mast there, stiff enough, or it would start self oscillate. So you have to make the boom of like carbon fiber, or or keep some sort of uh, truss designed to uh, to make it a uh, like one solid piece, so that there won't be any oscillation between the uh, the uh, the crown up there and the main body. It uh, seems to be quite gentle to fly around. And it will be very interesting to try it uh, outdoors. Uh, I will try to do that flight the first, first wind, uh, the, the first calm day that comes up here in uh, the coming weeks. Okay, <laughs> see you in the next one.